Goodbye, so bye. Agent Chlorine, your training has now been completed and it's time to send you out to the real world. We are under attack. Two different alien spaceships have been attacking Earth and you guys have the mission to fight them. Agent Bromine, this is what we're up against. Question one reaction is a stepwise, also called a unimolecular reaction. The core steps within this reaction include a leaving group and a nucleophile. The nucleophile is what is going to want protons. The SN1 reaction can also include additional steps. Um, it can create a intermediate, which will be known as a carbocation, which is also a which will also create a re rearrangement if possible. You also have a proton transfer before and after. Um, the features that are included in the S1 reaction, it's going to prefer tertiary over um, secondary or primary. Uh, tertiary is the most reactive in this case. It's going to want a weak nucleophile and an ex excellent leaving group, include iodine, bromine, chlorine, and fluorine. Um, as you can see, iodine is more preferred. It also will prefer a protic solvent. In a protic solvent, you will have um, solutions like H2O, OH, um, CH3OH, and um, ethyl OH. A SN1 reaction will also have a stereochemistry change, most likely. Um, the two possibilities are the S and R um, changes. Proton transfer with a bad leaving group. Those will have um, OH or OTs. That, that will give you a sign that it needs to have a proton transfer. The nucleophile is neutral at the end of the process of this process. Then the positive charge on the carbocation must be removed. In the SN1 reaction, you're going to have first the leaving group and then the nucleophile um, attack the carbocation, and then you'll create your product. This is why it is called a stepwise reaction. <laughs> As for the SN2 reaction, it's going to be concerted and also bimolecular. The core steps included in this reaction are you're going to have a nucleophile and a leaving group, and the nucleophile will come from the backside, also known as a backside attack. Additional steps that will be included in this reaction are proton transfer, similar to SN1, before and after. The first feature is that it will prefer a primary or methyl. I have a strong nucleophile and a good leaving group. Um, the aprotic solvent are going to include DMSO, acetone, DMF, those are some of the examples. Fluorine is going to be the best leaving group for this reaction, and then chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Inversion of configuration occurs, so therefore you will get from an R into an S configuration. The nucleophile will attack from the back and then cause a leaving group to leave, and then you will get your product, which is why it is concerted.